All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the jar. Episode nine, ten? Question mark? I don't remember. I don't number these. It doesn't matter. Uh, today, I'm playing some Salmon Run. No real reason. I just kind of felt like playing it. Uh, and it's been a it, I, it's been a while since my last real episode. I know that. Uh, I was supposed to do one last weekend, but I ended up um, unfortunately being out of town, I didn't get a chance to record, so ended up having to push that to this one, but that just means it's gonna be a little bit beefier of an episode, if you will. Um, yeah, uh, so today, I guess I'll go over what I've been doing since my last real episode. I guess I, I technically called my update video that I did back at, like, the end of December, uh, a jar episode in air quotes, but it wasn't, it wasn't really, it was just me, I had, like, a bullet point list, which I actually did do for this episode too, surprisingly. Oof, high tide, this is gonna be something. Um, but yeah, we're, uh, salmon running, so I'm, if I, like, stop talking for a second, uh, more than usual, it's because I'm EV, uh, executive VP, and, uh, I need to, I need to try and focus on the game, so, you know, keep a heads up for that, sorry, if that happens in advance. Um, so yeah, in the time since the last episode, I think it was October? Maybe early November when I did my last episode. Obviously, we're halfway through January 2024 now. New Year is here. New Year, new me. Um, by that, I mean New Year, just old me, except I'm trying to do a little bit better. Uh, so that's been fun. Um, obviously, I did my goals video for this year. I've been working hard to do that. Um, I, weekly streams are still a thing. I have my video for this week is, uh, actually I'm like two-thirds done scripting. I need to finish that today and probably record audio. It won't be a super long video. It looks like it'll probably be about six minutes, but, you know, I'm trying to, I'm working hard to try and stay on top of those goals, try and make the most of that, uh, try and do better than previous years where I set goals that I just never end up meeting, so, you know. We're, we're working on it. Um, beyond that, I guess, in obviously December, I had my winter break. Uh, I streamed a couple times over that. Uh, I kind of, I found an interesting niche, uh, something that people are interested in, which is uh, getting better at the video game. Wow, who would have known people want guides to that? Um, so I'll be, I'll be working on that, a lot of stuff, probably a little bit more competitive Splatoon focused, because that's a little bit where I'm better at uh, discussing and talking about and that sort of thing. Um, so I found that over break. I'll be working on that more in the future. Um, on top of that, this holiday for uh, Christmas, I got, um, on top of some other stuff for IRL things that I don't really want to talk about, uh, I did in fact get a laptop, which is very nice because it means I now have a real ability to do uh, work on things like scripts, things like editing, um, stuff like that when I'm at school and things like that, when I have downtime, when I would love to be doing it, but I just can't because I don't have a computer that lets me do so. Or I didn't. Now I do. So now I can do those things. It's why I've been able to be a lot more efficient at getting you guys videos. I would like to get some higher quality stuff going, especially in the shorts department. My last one was not very good, and it didn't perform well, but I knew that was going to happen because it was a half-assed thing I made in, like, five minutes. Because I didn't have uh, my editing software or anything yet on my uh, laptop. Some of it I still don't have set up properly, but, eh, boo-boo. Is what it is. Um, uh oh I gotta, uh, I gotta go, please. Ah! Sorry, I gotta clutch up. I can clutch it up, we're good. Okay. Yeah, so I've been able to do that, which has been nice. Uh, just, it's been good for me to be able to work, work harder on uh, stuff like that and be able to finally have the time and the dedication to be able to do that. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for this year. I think it'll be big. I hit 750 before the end of last year at least, and it's been, pretty decent growth consistently since then, and I think there's a pretty good chance that, that that should, in theory, continue as long as I... Hi there, guy in my face. Hang on. Okay, yep. Hey, fellas, we need one more egg, and there's 15 seconds left. Surely we can do this. Help. Guys. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Not even worried about it. Just jump. Just jump forehead. Ah. Okay, here we go. Uh... I'm gonna be real, I forgot what I was saying. Um, but yeah, I hit 750, growth's been good, blah, 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 cool. Uh, on top of that, I finished, we, or I, I shouldn't say I, it was, the team helped a lot too. But we as a team have finished uploading every single VOD ever recorded on, 
I IPL's uh, Twitch channel to the YouTube. They're public, they're timestamped, they have nice descriptions and thumbnails, and they're all in playlists, and everything is sorted nicely, so you can find anything you want. That was ever streamed, with an asterisk, some VODs are lost to time, unfortunately, but uh, it's pretty close to everything, so... You know what? We take those. Um, so that's cool. Now we have... I'm taking the rest of January off from doing things like that, because I've been pretty much doing it uh, just for hours and hours a week, every single week for the last year. I just needed... I want some me time before I jump back on the horse and we start cooking on some other interesting ideas for IPL, so keep an eye out for that, because um, we're cooking. And obviously this channel, uh, I will be making a real channel trailer for it. Um, real in air quotes, it's not anything elaborate, but uh, I'll be doing that this month too, I do believe. Um, which is good, because I've been needing to do that. It's been on my to-do list for about two and a half years now. <laughs> so, you know, that's fun. Um, yeah. Whee! Egg. Oof, just missed it. Okay. Oh, it is wave three. I should use specials. I gotta remember that. When I'm zoned out, I tend to forget it. Use your specials in Salmon Run, kiddos. Um... Get out of here. Get out of here. We got him. Oh, we need one more. Oh, we're good. Alright. Your honor, I'm ballin'. I love Crab Tank. This thing's so stupid. Um, yeah, I think that, that about sums up what I've been doing, roughly, for things that you guys care about. Uh, last stream I talked about this other, this trip I had to take last weekend, which is why you didn't get a jar episode that I was going to talk about today, but I already kind of talked about it. Miserable trip, absolutely terrible, but, you know, is what it is. Um, it's over now, it was a funny story, so we can't be, can't be that upset about it. Um, moving on from that... Uh, what I wanted to really talk about today, though, uh, the main, main, main point of today's video, I guess, is, um, e in competitive Splatoon, the way people tend to treat, uh, TOs in tournaments. And this came up most, uh, recently because of, uh, the weekly tournament Swimmer Sync switching over to being, um, on Start GG instead of on Battlefy. Now, you would think that... Uh, obviously, people can have, like, valid criticisms about that, but you'd think most people wouldn't really care. Um, and unfortunately, you would not be right, because this community loves to always, uh, freak out anytime there's any change whatsoever, no matter what. Uh, even if it is a positive change, which sucks. Uh, so, this most recent one, um, the staff switched over to a different website, um, StartGG. And what that website does is it essentially does a lot of the things on Battlefy that... Uh, tournament organizers have to do themselves that take a lot of time, a lot of effort, is like really, uh, like makes the tournament run way longer just because it's on that website. It does a lot of those things itself. Things like seeding the bracket, uh, organizing a lot of things like auto progression so that the bracket can move on to its next stages without staff having to do everything. Like just a lot of really important, really good things. It, uh, it started, it does that on its own. Um, but the the one downside being that the UI is marginally worse for players. Boo-hoo. Um, or that's what it should be, right? Like, okay, it's a slightly worse user experience at the trade-off of the tournament being done an hour earlier because we don't have to waste all this extra time. Right? You'd think that players would be all for that. Like, they can get over a little bit worse. Um, but no, not, not in this community. Um, people freaked out, they harassed TOs, there were a bunch of... Uh, people, like, would, they, people, when they played, they made their team tags, like, change back to Battlefy. They, like, did all these stupid, terrible things that were awful and dumb. Uh, and that should definitely not have been done. Um, over, a, a change that doesn't, it doesn't really affect you. They're both terrible UIs, so if you're gonna complain, you have to complain about both of them, but people won't do that. Uh, it's a little bit different to navigate, sure, but you can get over a learning curve for the speed, right? Like, even if you don't like it, even if you think it's worse, there's no reason for you to be freaking out to the degree that you are physically harassing the tournament organizers, right? Um, but people were doing it. Uh, and I, I'll be real, I don't get it. Um, this is a problem that is consistent in our community, which is that anytime there is any change, people just absolutely freak out. They absolutely lose it. 
uh, they go monkey banana nuts over it, and uh, it's a problem because you can complain about things, right? It's okay to like not like a change or to be vocal about disliking it, um, but people in this community don't just be vocal about it. They actually physically harass the TOs who make decisions or are forced to make decisions for certain reasons without understanding the logic why. Um, this most recent example, we had several teams, obviously, in the tournament itself harassing, but we had a bunch of people later on Twitter. There were multiple threads about people complaining about, like... I shouldn't say complaining. There were multiple people essentially calling for harassment of the TOs until they go back to the old system. There were, uh... There were players who were, like, just bought, like harassing TOs and DMs was a thing that I saw some of. Um, there were people in live chat were being um, just absolutely menaces about it, which... Sometimes, to some degree, it's funny, whatever, and it's okay to voice your opinion in chat, too, but not to the degree these people were doing it. It was, like, an unhealthily uh, obsessive degree, almost, I would say. Um, and these are... I don't know, man. How do I put this into a way that frames this in the light that it actually is? Because... Let's just put it this way. People were making something out of nothing, ignoring any positive reasons, and harassing people like individuals over it. Not like making a statement to the org or the tournament organizers as a whole that like, hey, I don't personally like this change. Here's my reasons why at a personal level I don't like it. And like reasonable feedback like that. It was like people like actually physically harassing TOs about it. Not physically, I guess, because it's online. But like going into DMs and harassing people on the public Discord. Like just all these things that should not be happening. Uh, fellas, we need eggs. Like now. Come on. Come on. Uh, uh, that's a salmon run moment. I don't have an excuse for that one. I saw the timer ticking down, but I didn't act fast enough. That happens. Hmm. Um. Blah, blah, blah. What was I saying? Uh. Sorry, I gotta catch my breath. I feel like I've been talking nonstop this episode. Which I guess I normally do, but I'm trying to alleviate some breaks. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but this is, yeah, this is a thing that happens with, like, every change in this community. And I am not about it, to put it lightly. Hot take, I think harassment is bad. I know, I know, I know. For a lot of people in this community, that's going to be hard to grasp. Because we're very okay with it for some reason. Uh, a lot of the competitive scene is, and it's really weird, and I don't get it. People just let things fly that absolutely should not be let fly. Um, and I, I just, I wanted to talk about it. I don't know. Um, I think, to be honest, we're too nice to these people. Um, not to TOs, to be perfectly, that's not what I'm saying. We're too nice to the people who, like, are just absolute a-holes and just harass people like this all the time. We let them get off too lightly. We, like, I, I don't know. We just, like, we give them too much uh, benefit of the doubt. And this goes for a lot of things in this community, where we give people way too much benefit of the doubt, or we hard target way too hard. Ah, mud mouse, let's go. Free wave. Free wave, let's go. Um, and it's, it's a pretty high top. Oh, good lord. I wish I had, like, a higher hazard level and a good team right now, because this would go crazy. Hang on. Yo, I wanna... Okay, chat. Loki, I'm... I wanna play a Salmon Run tournament soon. I wanna play... I, there's a couple... I think weeklies, a few monthlies for Salmon Run. Loki, I wanna play one soon. I love this mode. This mode's the GOAT. I really need to grind it more. I need to I need to start working my way on getting stage badges. I just don't have the time to do it solo rotations ever. Um they're gold. I can't believe that Kohawk spawned in such the perfect way to block my bomb. That's so frustrating. <laughs> yeah. Dude, this would have been such a good wave if I had had, like, a real team with me. I'm so annoyed. Actually, it's not. 
It's whatever, it's random. I will I will save this it's too low with hazard level to even matter, save the scenario code. I might do it anyways. We'll see. We take that though. 45 wave one is pretty good for this low hazard level. Um Yeah, but we just let we let people get away with it a lot. And I wish, I wish we didn't let people get away with things as much as they do. There's a lot of racism in this community, weirdly, that we let people just get away with because the player is good. Like, there's, ah, what's his name, like, Waza or something? He's a French player, and he's, like, a pedophile and very racist. And for some reason, people still just let him hang out. And I'm like, dude, just because he's good at the game does not excuse someone being a terrible person. I guess in sports it does, I guess, you know? That's another, that's a broader society problem. I'm just a little guy playing Squid Game. I can't solve that on my own. But we do excuse uh, bad people because they're famous a lot, which we should not do, I think. Hot take, we should stop letting pedophiles, like, just do things like we do for some reason in America. But, you know, that's not a, that's a bigger issue than just me. I, we, that's a, that's a group thing that I would love to see change for that. And I will help where I can, but I feel like I cannot do a lot on my own. But... Yeah, we let a lot of people get away with a lot of bad stuff. Which is not good, and we should stop doing that as much, ideally. Where where did everything just come from? This was, this round, we have seven eggs that are 30 seconds left. All of my team is gone. Oh, we're gonna wipe so hard. Where are you? Guys. Be gone, be gone, be gone, be gone, all right. Guys, guys, ah! how did we win that? You know what, we take those. You know what, we take those, that's fine. That's fine. Sometimes we just shut up and take those. We're chillin', that's fine. We're fine. Um, uh, I had to use both my crap talents, bro. Oh, this team is going to lose. Go down there and take him out. What are you doing? Or I'll do it for you, I guess. This is so bad. Uh... Oh yeah, the, like, topic I was talking about. I guess I should probably finish that train of thought. That's, like, the title of the episode, I guess. Um, yeah, we need to stop letting people just be terrible people. We need to, like, actually enact punishment at a reasonable time frame. <coughs> Fuck, splat safety. Uh, sorry, I had, a, I had a bit of a cough there about this silly little group that just does not actually do their job in any reasonable time frame because they'll be banning players like literally years later after a thing happened. Like players that don't even play anymore a third of the time, like guys, how are you all dead already? And they don't they don't do enough, they don't act fast enough. Because let me tell you, banning a guy eight months after he did the thing you have not done anything. You let him hang out for eight months. Sure, he maybe eventually got banned, but like two-thirds of the time, it doesn't matter. That guy's gone by this point anyways. So like, what does you, what does that do? I don't know, man. Okay, fellas. Can we take care of these stingers, please? I'm going insane. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. <laughs> We're good. Surprisingly, somehow, we're good. Um, I just I just want people to act, I want this community to act faster and to not let people get away with the things they do. Is that, is that a hot take? I know that's a hot take. Uh, it's not a topic I feel like I need to harp on for that long, because I think most people generally tend to agree with me. It's the popular opinion, it just happens to not be an opinion that's shared by a subset of players, primarily in the upper mid-level, who for some reason have a lot of influence on Twitter, um, and, uh, just, because, because they're friends, or they are themselves people who would be affected by these changes, by people acting faster, more severe punishments, 
like, calling people out for their things and having it, like, actually, I don't know, like, matter. Uh, oh, I'm not queuing with these players again. Nuh-uh. After that, are you kidding me? Absolutely not. Um... <laughs> But a lot of mid, a lot of upper mid level players who have a lot of clout on Twitter, unfortunately, disagree with me because they're friends with these people or they are these people, and it holds this community back a lot. And I wish that we, as a community, could collectively grow past this. But uh, at the end of the day, this community is a big clicky hellhole um, where only the most popular of popular girls get to change anything about the community, and it's stupid and I hate it. So, you know. Positive change would be great, but again, I can only do so much, so I'll do what I can. Um, I would be great if you guys could help do what you can to actually call people out for their garbage and not let people get away with things. Hi, Goose. I don't know who you are. Are you are you my Goose? Are you Goose the one I know? That'd be crazy. Anyways. Yeah, that's all. I don't know. That's that's about what I wanted to talk about for this episode for the main topic relating to what I felt like talking about this week because it felt relevant. Um, I think just working to get some of those changes implemented, making just making things happen faster. Um, I do. I will give them credit where they're due. Splat Safety does do a good job of keeping people who submit things or um, people who are affected by things when they request it private. I really do appreciate that about them. I know a lot of, or I know not a lot of people, but I know a couple people who have been affected by people being just absolutely garbage human beings uh, and don't really want to be publicly known for that. So they try to keep it private and Splat Safety does a great job at that. I do respect them for that a lot. And I do respect them for taking their own time. They're not making any money off it or anything, right? It's just people who care about the community being safe. Um, but I just, it needs to be faster, fellas. Because at our current rate, it's not, it's not going great. So, I don't know. That's, that's about my feelings on that. Um, don't, obviously, no harassment to anyone I called out in this video. Please, if you do, I will ban you from everything and block you on everything. You will never be allowed to talk to me or speak or interact with anybody from me or Ink Sane ever again. And I will personally make sure of it. So don't be that guy. We're about to lose. That's so cool. I just have to booyah stall, bro. Ten eggs and two... Alright. Yep. Well, <laughs> that's a good summary of this video. Um, be normal, please. If you have a change that you disagree with, you can voice that criticism, but do it in a way that is appropriate and is not directly harassment to individuals, because that's not fair to them, and it's very disrespectful of you. Um, and if you see people doing that, call them out for it. Don't let them get away with it, because if you let them get away with it, you're just as bad as they are. Um... Yeah, that's about it for this one. Thanks for stopping by, fellas. Uh, I guess you can... You know what? I'll be kind today. I'll throw in my... Hold. I'm holding. I'll throw in my... There we go. I'll throw in my daily bonuses. Anything... Three money. Three money tickets? We're living the high life here, fellas. Alright. On that note... Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your guys' day. Don't let bad people get away with bad things, and have a good one.